13WMAZ Weather, sponsored by Osborne Chevrolet. Byron. 6 or 7 this morning. I'm glad it's getting warmer outside because I could use a nice sweet strawberry. How about you? Right. Oh, I love going strawberry picking and great weather for the kids who are on spring break to go out there too. That's right, especially for the first part of the week. A little cooler for the back half of the week, but you can get outside and enjoy it while you can because temperatures are in the 80s this afternoon, tomorrow afternoon as well. It's just we're going to be losing sunlight by the way of cloud cover across central Georgia. Here's what we've got going on right now. 62 the current number with partly cloudy skies. Got 80s on the way later on today. 82 being that high temperature right around 4 o'clock this afternoon. 63 now in Roberta, 61 in Port Valley, 62 over in Perry, 62 in Montezuma, 64 in Forsyth, 65 in Dudley, and 64 in Dublin. Some more mid to low 60s down to the south here, 8 minutes after 6 on this Monday morning. The radar picture is quiet, spinning around from Jeffersonville, not finding anything. However, the satellites up in space are finding cloud cover uh, really across most of the southeastern United States, but a little more dense once you get back into Alabama, Mississippi this morning. That moving towards central Georgia as we work our way into the afternoon. We're also going to be watching what's going on up to the north and to the west here through the afternoon. A level three day from Dallas, Oklahoma City over towards Missouri and Illinois, especially Missouri and Illinois is where I'm watching for the threat of maybe some strong tornadoes today. But I'm showing you this because the tail end of that system, literally the, the, the tail end of the line, and then also, uh, you know, as it's weakening, is going to be moving through central Georgia. So let's time that out on future view. By the time we get to the noon hour, looking at partly cloudy skies becoming mostly cloudy later in the day. I know you see a couple of green splotches there. I really don't think we're going to have a good chance of rain as we work our way through the afternoon. Air is just a little too dry for that. The clouds stick around through the overnight hours. Look at this. So breeze out of the south. Temperatures stuck in the upper 60s because of this. So not able to cool off quite as much through the overnight on into Tuesday afternoon here. We get back into the low 80s before we get into the overnight hours, and this is when the storms arrive. So there's Tuesday at 11 p.m. Some showers arriving in central Georgia storms really after the 2 a.m. hour, and it's going to take from about 2 to 5 o'clock for any storm threat to move through the area. We're talking about maybe some gusty winds, maybe some hail, and maybe the chance for a brief spin up tornado. Still trying to nail down the details on that one. Regardless, we clear out for Wednesday afternoon. Looking at temperatures cooler though for the afternoon, stuck in the 60s as opposed to the 80s. So here's where how things stand now on the severe storm outlook. This is going to be uh, from Putnam County through Bibb, West Bibb, and then to Taylor County, a level one. But this cutoff line here is because of the timing of the system. It's not because the threat comes to an end. So I would say a level one risk, generally speaking, could be around for all of central Georgia for overnight Tuesday into Wednesday. Here's Thursday at about 5 p.m. Look at that, clear as a whistle. Friday, yep, pretty good. Saturday, maybe some clouds. Then we get to Sunday here, and that's going to be looking at another clear day. Unfortunately, we've been talking about the eclipse, right? You look at what's going back off to the west, maybe some showers over near Arkansas, Texas. That would be in the path of totality, so unfortunately, not good news for other people out there, at least as things stand now. But luckily for us, looking at uh, mostly sunny skies for Monday. Again, that's a week from today for the partial eclipse here. All right, a 30% chance of rain uh, Tuesday night, 90% Wednesday. Wednesday morning, so that's going to be that front coming in. 72 on Wednesday. It's actually going to happen during the morning. 60s for the afternoon. That's going to stick around for Thursday and Friday with plenty of sun for some more clouds are in here for the weekend.